Welcome back to another 30 Miles Out Tips with Ty. The topic for today is what's in Ty's BTV Yak. A lot of folks have asked me what BTV stands for. It stands for Beyond the Breakers, off the beach kayak fishing. Let's take a look at what I carry in my yak. So Teresa said a lot of people have been asking about my BTV setup in my boat and what I do and how I set it up. So I figured, well, since I'm BTB this morning, maybe this is a good time to show y'all. Let me break it down, front to back. Okay, first of all, on the nose, I have a nose rope that y'all have seen me use for lots of different purposes. I keep it on there for everything from standing, assist to dragging. I can have two people drag this kayak. I can grab the handle, somebody else can grab the nose rope. You may notice the bungee up there. The bungee, I can stick stuff underneath if I need to. If I'm on the flats, I'll put my life preserver under there. If I'm out here and I have, you know, a, a bag or my torpedo or something, I'll slide that under there. It's just a, a place to hold stuff temporarily. All right, moving a little further back. Of course, I've got my fish grip. You can see it in this uh, side pouch. In this pouch, I've got zinc oxide. I really try to keep just what I need for a morning's fishing in my kayak BTB. To me, less is more when you're offshore because it's chaotic out here. All right, midway back. One rod, two rods. BTB, I only carry two rods. Once again, less is more. Stuff gets in the way. Oh, holy mackerel. Got a blitz over here. Got a blitz, people. Whew, that was awesome. Stuff starts getting in the way, especially when you're fighting big fish. Two rods is plenty. And the one way I can get away with that is I don't have a sabiki rod. Holy mackerel, is that Jax? Look at that. Holy smokes, what is that? Let's put on a spoon and see what that is. Take the old $20 holly in. I keep snap swivels on here so I can change out baits quick if I need to. I don't know where they went. They were running fast. Alright, so let's continue with our little lesson here. We're trolling right now. We're, we're looking for kings and mahi. Hopefully a sail. Um, I can get away with 30 pound braid and Ambassador 6600s or 5,000 spinning reel. That's an ugly stick. This is the McCain uh, Line Cutters Kayak Series cranking it rod. It's a bass rod, um, but it's fine for kings. And I can also whip it, it's got a limber tip. Two rods that are universal, very important. I actually have a third rod in the boat that I haven't talked about yet. This is a pool noodle with a heavy weight on the bottom and a sabiki. BTV moving on back. Once we do catch bait, we have found the easiest way to transport the bait is in a torpedo bait bucket. Uh, the yellow bait buckets for $6 from Walmart, no good. They drag the boat down so bad, it's awful. These kind of sink a little bit and they, they run like a torpedo subsurface and you don't really notice them. PVC pipe. Bait tubes work okay, but they're much, much heavier. This is very, very light. So I keep this in the back. I also keep a dry sack with random stuff that I need. Um, a long sleeve shirt, sunglasses, buff, whatever I need to put on, I keep in this little dry sack. I keep a pair of good pliers on a float. I keep two tackle boxes in here. If it's not in here, I don't need it. And this box here, I've got a popper some top water plugs. I've got the rattle trap, a couple of Yozuris. I got the $20 holler on in there. And then I keep a couple, bunch of small stuff uh, for throwing for, you know, bait basically. So that's my lures for the morning. I'm very particular about what goes in that because I only get two boxes. And then in here, this is my terminal tackle for trolling. Okay, I got some pre made leaders for kings, got some extra hooks, some bait catching rigs, 80 pound mono. A little bit of weight and some more circle hooks. That's everything. If it ain't in here, I don't get to use it. So I like to keep it simple. You're dealing with waves and current and big fish. Here's something else y'all saw on the, on the Spanish uh, Inquisition episode. I was throwing a hybrid striper lead and I put single hooks on. These are great for catching bait, hardtail, Spanish. I keep a few of these on the boat at all times for catching bait in Spanish and Benita and anything else that shows up out here that I need to cast to. Well, there you go. There's my boat, my BTB setup in a nutshell while I'm out BTB here on the Emerald Coast of Florida. All right, let's see what we can get. Teresa's out there 
It looks like they're on a school or something. Also, when I go BTB, I keep my seat in the low position, lower my center of gravity. I put it up high on the flats. Out here, I like to be low down into the boat. It gives me a little more of a secure feeling, keeps my weight low, especially if it's choppy. Ooh, they got something blowing up. Oh, let me show y'all one more thing. This is my favorite BTB lure right here. The Ozuri Giant Crystal Minnow. I call it the $20 holly. You saw an episode on it. This thing's beautiful, it trolls well, and lots of stuff loves to hit it. We'll see y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Keep your paddles wet, people. Keep on trolling, baby. I'm gonna throw out the $20 holly right now. McCain rod here. I like to put it a full cast and a little bit more behind the boat. 30 pound braid, three clicker. This is also my secret trolling position. I use the handles on the outback. I love my outback. I use the handles as to make like outriggers. It spreads my baits way out far so I can have two trolling, no problem. I just kind of use the cup holder and the handle. It works fantastic. I hope they never change the design. I like not adding stuff because everything's flush this way and I'm not getting caught on anything at all. You've been watching What's in Ty's Boat, BTB. <gasps> what? Yeah.